Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, or you're lost, or you're confused, yeah. So today's video is gonna be a game day tutorial. So I go to USC, so I'm gonna be doing colors that relate to USC, because I go here. I'm gonna probably do like two or three videos on this. I don't really know yet, I'm gonna plan. But this is the easiest out of all of them. This is a glitter winged liner. It looks super professional and put together, but it only takes literally like five minutes. As long as you can do a, a winged liner, which for some people, they have some trouble. But yeah, this is a tutorial on this look. I love it. I wear this to most game days. Most game days, I do not do a whole cut crease, you know, spotlight eye. I don't do most of that. I do this most of the time because it's cute, simple, and fun and fresh. All right, so if you want to learn how to get this look, and here's some tips on how to keep your skin in check on game day, yeah, keep watching this video. off by priming my eyes I prime with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade like Deep Sand or something I don't really know but I didn't use the P. Louise base because we're not doing like any sort of crazy eyeshadow look so I just used my concealer to just get a clean color all over my lid and I blended it out with a dry Real Technique sponge because I wanted to keep the what's it called coverage of the, of the concealer now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, which is my favorite liner ever now. Tattoo liner, who, whom, homest. And I'm using this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner to create a wing. I draw the tail first and then connect the tail to like the middle of my eyelid. That's the way that I found is the easiest way to make a wing liner for me. So everyone does it differently. And then I connect the front to the tail that I just made. It looks a little strange because I have a weird eye shape when it comes to wings, but that's why I like to do it, okay? See, I'm just filling it in with the fly liner. You see how black that is? We love her. We love that. See, I created a really dramatic wing because when you're using glitter, you want your wing to be a little bit thicker so you can actually see the glitter and it doesn't just look like a line on your eye that looks ridiculous. Now I'm doing the other eye, same thing, same process. I'm looking to see if they're even, they're most likely not. Yuck. Oh, <laughs> you're mad, okay. I think I was lost. All right, no longer lost. So now I'm taking the Duo Clear Lash Glue. You can either use a glitter glue, a lash glue, that's it. Don't put, be putting hair glue or nail glue anywhere near your eyes. You're fucking, whoop, you're crazy. So I'm taking a angled brush. This is a Sigma brush. I don't know the exact brush, but it was in Jackie's Faves brush collection, I'm pretty sure. So I'm taking the Duo Lash Glue and I'm placing it, stamping it onto the liner. And now I'm taking this red glitter. It's from a company that I don't think exists anymore. I bought it like three years ago. But yeah, you can find red glitter literally anywhere. NYX makes one. Every brand makes one that makes glitter. I'm doing the same thing for both eyes. I'm placing the dual lash glue and then i'm placing the red glitter over it i used a black liner so the black is gonna peek through if you want it to look just all red you should use a red liner if you want it to be a little bit more bright you should use a white liner i like a little bit of smoke a little bit of smoke in my look that's why i used a black liner but if you want something that's very um, monochromatic use a red liner if you want something that's a little bit more bright and less smoky use a white liner to create this wing thing Yep, same thing. This look is literally so simple, anyone can do it. All it is is just being able to work with glitter and knowing how to do a winged liner. That is it, literally it, and those are very easy things to do. I'm just going over the whole black area. Pretty self-explanatory. Making a glitter wing, and we love this, and we love her. 
Is that it? That's it. Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, a wink. Okay, so now we're moving on to the face. And so I do the same thing that I usually do for my face routine, except I do a little bit, some things a little bit different for game days. So I start off with moisturizing, not moisturizing, right on my face. I'm using all of the same products that are in my summer foundation routine. So if you haven't seen that, you should um, get on that. So I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm gonna show you just, I do like two, like two things different for game days. Like it's not, it's not anything serious. Cause it's hot as hell in California, Southern California to be specific. So I remember my first game day, my makeup melted off and I was confused. I said, how did this happen? What did I do? I wasn't used to the temperature outside. So now I know what not to do. I'm going with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector to mattify my skin. Now, <laughs> now because we're gonna be outside for like, like all day, like literally from like 11 a.m. to like 5 p.m., I'm gonna add way more than I usually do putting it all in the places where my makeup tends to just disappear. So forehead, chin, above the mustache area, nose, really. So yeah, I guess the one thing, the one tip that I have is use a mattifying primer. Like honestly, even if you have dry skin, I just wouldn't advise using this one if you have dry skin. But find like a mattifying primer that's like not so mattifying that you'll like die but something that's like that'll keep your makeup intact i don't really know i think that would work best out and the next step that i think everyone has to do no matter what your skin type is for game days because you, like you, no one's comprehending how long you're standing out in direct spotlight heat especially since tomorrow's game is like in the morning not the morning like the after like early afternoon when the sun is like ultralight beaming. I look kind of like ashy right now. Oh, never mind. Okay. Because the sun will be ultralight like tomorrow morning, you're going to set your primer with foundation. Not foundation. With, with powder. Come on, Amanda. So I'm taking a little bit slash a lot and I'm setting basically all the places that I put my um mattifying primer I'm wearing a white shirt this is not the best idea yeah i'm adding again because i'm doing the same thing as in my summer foundation routine except i'm just adding a, a little bit more because like you know you won't understand until you're there for the first time like i didn't get how much i had to do this stuff until i went to the first game day last year and my face melted off so that was cute. So I'm really making sure to add a lot, a lot, a lot. Pressing it in there. Ash, I oh, love this for me. Okay, so another tip that I have, I forgot, I was gonna just get through this, but is to apply less foundation than you, than you usually would. If you powder beforehand, that'll automatically make you like, look like you have more flawless skin if that makes sense so you won't have a need to add as much foundation as you usually do i like to go for foundations that okay because i have such mattifying steps i don't really because my skin isn't like ridiculously oily it's like regular oily so i don't feel a need to get like a super mattifying foundation plus all those mattifying primers if you're someone who's super oily do that don't don't be a fool do that if you need to but I don't, so I like to go for a foundation that's pretty much a satin finish or a, a, with a little bit of radiance. So today I'm using the, like what I always use, the NARS Natural natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I like to use this no matter what, because it does hold up a little bit in the heat. It's not the best to hold up in the heat, like honestly. So tomorrow, I don't know if, if it's gonna be like super, super hot, I won't use that. I'll use the Fenty Beauty Foundation that bitch does not move. Or I'll use the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Um, I don't know of a drugstore one that keeps on as long as these ones do. I really don't. Um, 
Um, the new NARS foundation, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, I haven't tried it, but I'm assuming it'd be able to hold its own in heat. But you know what? Assumptions aren't the best, but I'm going to assume anyway. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera, and it's going to be the same thing that's in my summer foundation routine. Like, I really, the summer foundation routine is good for game days because it's the summer, so I'm going to, like, make my skin sweat proof. So it's the same thing. You guys were here for the eye tutorial. I get it. I get it. So I'll be right back. Okay. And one of my final and last tips, oh, I put my lashes on by the way, one of my final and last tips is highlighter. Okay, so I love, live for a good highlight. Everyone knows this, but on game days, um, and basically any day when it's hot outside, you want to put a little bit less on because no matter if you're oily, dry, or whatever, your natural oils, especially if you're oily, are going to shine through after like an hour probably. So if you have a shit ton of highlight, if you have a ton of highlighter on your face, plus the sweat, plus the oil, you're gonna look ridiculous. And I'm not here to make you look foolish. Like, my Twitter name is Boo Boo the Fool, but like, I'm really not Boo Boo the Fool. I'm the, like, like, I'm trying hard not to be. I'm trying not to be her anymore. So I wanna tell you, I wanna tell you guys that just so you don't literally swipe a thing highlight on your face and end up looking like chicken grease. Like, I don't want that for you. You don't want that for you. And like, we understand each other. So, Okay, so this is the finished look. It's a red uh, glitter liner. Yeah, very basic, very easy. It's literally nothing special. Like this look takes me two minutes. Mmm, five, because of the liner. So I use a black liner because I like to have a bit of a smoky effect, but if you wanted the red to be a little bit more brighter, you should use a white liner or maybe an actual red liner. The only red liner that I know that exists is NYX's and it's kind of trash but like work with what you got right so yeah this is the finished look i'm gonna film some more game day looks i just haven't had any time because school just started and i'm trying not to fail you guys i want to do well 4.0 season is the season baby it's the season oh i almost just probably woke one of my roommates up so yeah this is the finished look i hope you guys really enjoyed it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to me channel she's back it's been like a week but like i'm back hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.